Sour Power PC did it again. How's it going guys? We're new here. This is Matt with Key Success where I'm making you the best year yet. In today's video, I'll help you set up your RGB lights on your PC. So as you see in my last series of videos, I got my computer through Cyber Power PC. Initially, when I first got it, which was about a month ago, I had a bunch of issues with it out of the box and I had to send it back through the RMA process. I just got my computer back last week and a week so far, no issues. So now I, will, I want to customize it and change some of the lighting on there. So when I first put my computer up through the installation process and all that, I got a download for the Armory Crate. This is due to my motherboard being an Asus Tough Gaming X570 plus Wi-Fi. So that's their the default app for the motherboard. So that downloads automatically. And then right th through that app, you can customize your lighting with the Aura Sync program. So I started doing that. But I noticed that when I tried to use the program, my light was blinking green. I'm going to show you a video of what my light is doing right now. So as you see from the video, I, turned, I changed my light to purple and it's blinking green. It's not set green to any of the other apps I have or anything like that. I'm not sure why it's blinking green. So then I thought maybe the fan has a different program it uses. So I went to the AMD site and searched up my fan. The type of fan I have is an AMD Wraith Premium. So that fan has a program which is Coolmaster. I download a Coolmaster and I try to customize it. Initially, I turned the fan light off to see if it would work, and it will go off, but then it will kept bleaking green, it would flash green all the time, and I'm not sure why. I changed it to purple. I started messing with the uh, the ring around it, changed it with no problem. The AMD logo, changed it with no problem, but it just came to the fan light I was having issues with. Okay, so then like maybe I was like, Okay, maybe I didn't do something right in the Aura Sync app. So I went back to the Aura Sync app and literally changed everything. I went through each different setting to see if that would make a change. And yes, it would change color, but it always blinked a, a color that I didn't select, like green. Sometimes it blinked red too as well. So then I'm thinking like maybe it's getting conflicting messages, like it's listening to two different things. Because I know that the fan, I know that the motherboard controls the case lights or the case fans for the airflow. It controls the memory and it controls the motherboard's onboard lights or RGB lights. But it doesn't have anywhere in there where it controls the CPU light. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's connected in two different places that it shouldn't be. And it's getting conflicting messages. So I looked at my motherboard diagram. Here it is. At the bottom, at the top, I have two RGB headers. On the side, I have a USB connector. I know the fan connects three ways. It connects with the fan connector, which needs to be connected. And it connects through RGB, through the RGB header and the USB header. So I know the RGB header controls the lights and the USB header controls the lights. So I'm like, why are they both connected? What's the reason for them being both connected? I was like, let me disconnect it from the RGB header. So I disconnected from the RGB header, turned it on. Sure enough, it worked fine. So now I can only control the fan through the cool app and everything else I control through the Aura Sync app, which is fine. I just want it to work and not blink a color I didn't select. So guys, if you're having this issue and you have the same motherboard that I have, the Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi, you need to disconnect the RGB header. Just disconnect the fan from the RGB header and you guys won't be having this problem anymore. You'll be able to control your lights. I'm not sure why AMD set this up like this, but I don't know if Cyber Power knew this and just was it inept or they just rushed through the process. But I'm not a, I'm not an expert on computers, but I, I looked at that and I did trial and error and it's working fine. So I looked through Reddit and I don't I didn't see any other way to, to um to fix this problem. So guys, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.